Allah deprem oluyor! Deprem oluyor! Each one more violent than the last. Each a harbinger of the great danger to come. Today we will be looking at the biggest earthquakes that have ever happened in the world. Let's watch. Earthquake is the name given to natural events that cause the energy under the Earth's crust for various reasons to reach and shake the Earth with seismic fluctuations. It usually occurs as a result of the fracture of faults underground. However, earthquakes can also occur as a result of volcanic activities, landslides, man-made explosives, and nuclear tests. The power generated by earthquakes is enormous. Depending on the location, position, and distance from the Earth, the destructive effect increases or decreases. About one million earthquakes are recorded each year. But 500,000 of these earthquakes are too small to be felt. Of the 500,000 earthquakes that are felt in a year, only 100 are destructive. We can give the following example to explain the great power generated by earthquakes. The energy generated by an earthquake of magnitude. 8 is equal to the energy generated by the simultaneous use of 70 atomic bombs. This is an image of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Imagine if 70 bombs were dropped here at the same time. It's hard to imagine, isn't it? It's just as hard to imagine the energy released in a magnitude 8 earthquake. According to research, life on our planet, which is 4.5 billion years old, has been reset five times so far, but each time it has started again. Our world has been plagued by natural disasters of various kinds since its existence. When we add human impacts to this, the scale of these disasters reaches horrifying levels. Mother Nature takes back what she has given us many times over, like revenge. Let's take a look at the biggest earthquakes on record and their terrible aftermath. Valdivia Earthquake, May 22, 1960 in Chile, 9.5. The Valdivia Earthquake in southern Chile was the strongest earthquake recorded in recent history. This earthquake occurred at the junction of the Nazca and South American tectonic plates. In this region, the Nazca plate plunged beneath the South American plate, causing a large accumulation of seismic energy. As a result, this energy was suddenly released, causing a massive earthquake. The Valdivia earthquake, measuring 9.5 on the Richter scale, lasted for about 10 minutes, and its after effects were much more devastating. Large tremors and shifts in the Earth's crust were observed over a wide area in Chile. The city of Valdivia was literally wiped off the map. After the earthquake, several dormant volcanoes in Chile were reactivated. The tsunami triggered by the 9.5 magnitude Valdivia earthquake reached many countries in the Pacific Ocean and caused widespread destruction. In addition to Chile, the tsunami also affected Japan, Hawaii, New Zealand, the Philippines, the west coast of the United States and Australia. As a result of the Valdivia earthquake and the natural disasters that followed, almost the entire infrastructure and economy of the country came to a standstill. Although the exact number cannot be determined, it is estimated that the number of people who lost their lives in the earthquake is between 5,000 to 6,000 people. And it is stated that tens of thousands of people were left homeless. The earthquake and the subsequent recovery process cost approximately $600 million. Alaska Earthquake. A massive heaving of the earth followed by giant waves of water and an outbreak of fires has killed an untold number of persons and devastated sections of the Pacific coast from Alaska to California. The March 28, 1964. Alaska earthquake occurred in the zone of interaction between the Pacific and North American tectonic plates. In this region, the great energy accumulated as the Pacific plate dipped beneath the North American plate was suddenly released on March 28, 1964, resulting in a massive 9.2 magnitude earthquake. The three-minute earthquake was centered in Prince William Sound, and the violent tremors were felt across a wide area of Alaska. Cities such as Anchorage were severely damaged, and many buildings and infrastructure were destroyed. In some areas, 
the force of the earthquake caused the ground to rise or fall permanently. After the earthquake in Alaska, a very large tsunami occurred. The 9.2 magnitude earthquake followed by a tsunami wreaked havoc on Alaska's coastline and other areas in the Pacific Ocean. Coastal settlements such as Valdez, Whittier, Seward, and Kodiak suffered heavy damage. Tsunami waves reached the west coast of the U.S. and Hawaii. Hundreds of people lost their lives due to the Alaska earthquake and the tsunamis that followed. The damage caused by the earthquake is estimated at $2.30 billion, according to today's economy. Sumatra Earthquake On December 26, 2004, a massive earthquake struck off the coast of the Indonesian island of Sumatra, making it one of the most devastating natural disasters in modern history. The earthquake itself, measuring 9.1 on the Richter scale, caused serious damage to the northwest of Sumatra Island. But the real destruction was wrought by the giant tsunamis that followed the earthquake. The giant waves affected Indonesia, Sri Lanka, India, Thailand, and 11 other countries in total. The earthquake lasted for 10 minutes and the devastation was followed by tsunami waves up to 30 meters high. Settlements, infrastructure, and ecosystems along the coastline suffered extensive damage. The Sumatra earthquake and subsequent tsunami became one of the deadliest natural disasters in history. 250,000 people lost their lives and nearly one and a half billion people were left homeless. Tohoku Earthquake, March 11, 2011. On March 11, 2011, the earthquake that struck the Tohoku region of Japan was one of the strongest seismic events ever recorded in the country, causing a massive tsunami that turned into a historic disaster. This 9.1 magnitude earthquake affected not only Japan, but the whole world. The Tohoku earthquake triggered a chain of disasters, including tsunamis and nuclear disasters. The epicenter of the six-minute earthquake was off the coast of Japan's Tohoku region, and severe tremors were felt throughout the country. The tsunami waves following the earthquake caused massive destruction in coastal areas. The city of Sendai and its surroundings were particularly badly damaged. Tsunamis triggered by the Tohoku earthquake caused severe damage to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. This led first to radiation leakage and then to a nuclear disaster, exacerbating the effects of the earthquake. The nuclear leak has caused great concern all over the world. The Tohoku earthquake and the tsunami that followed killed and disappeared thousands of people. Hundreds of thousands of people were left homeless and infrastructure and the economy were badly damaged. The effects of this earthquake continue to this day. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share the video link with your close circle. This way, you can support us. See you in the next video. Goodbye.